So guys, welcome to Kinetic Customs over in Glossop. I'm Adrian. And I'm Joe. So today we're going to show you a few short videos of what we usually get up to. And um, I'm going to be machining up some stainless steel combination squares. And you're... I'm going to be finishing off the large base body hammers. So let's get cracking. The first thing to do is make these stainless steel lock bolts. We've got a fixture jig here so we can make three at a time. So it's over to the bridge boat. That's the locking bolts done, just need to deburr the edges and then we're on to the next process. Meanwhile over here, Joe's getting the CNC ready to run his first billet. Lock of steel all set up. Ready to press go, Joe? Yeah, all programmed up. Hopefully this goes Always. right. <laughs> Always. Over here, the next stages, we've uh, used some Dicom Engineers Blue and we mark the centre so that we can drill the hole straight through there. We've got that set up, just need to change the tooling over for the keyless truck. A little bit. Let's get rocking. All set up in the jig. Got it all uh, tightened up, nice and good. A little spray of oil, and we're ready to start drilling. So we've got the faces uh, nice and sanded up now and then we've tested it with the reel already, it's all measuring nice and square. So the next step is to surface finish it with some wet and dry paper. So hi group. A little bit of WD 40. And it's time to sand away.
we have all faces nice and flat, all the edges have been deburred. We're ready to give it a quick buff. There we have it, polished, sweet. Okay, so we finally got the square roll assembled, all nicely polished and everything. So we're just gonna do one final check, make sure everything's measuring okay. So what we do is, where's my pen? There it is. We draw a line off a known straight edge, like so. And we flip the rule over and out. And then we should be able to see that those lines match up perfectly, which they do, very nice. And because we know that the corner of the surface plate is extremely square, we can then measure the 45 across corners. Draw a line again. And yep, absolutely perfect. And then what we can also do to check is just move this piece of paper out of the way. Is we have a piece of bar which has been faced off on the bottom and checked for squareness, which this surface plate is really good for because it's very nice and flat. And then we can check both sides of the bar for a gap, which there's no gap there. And there is a bit difficult one under. No gap there either. Just for peace of mind. I like to check it against another another square. There we go. And it's absolutely perfect. Can't even get a hair between the two. So there we have it guys, that's the finished uh, combination square. If you're wondering what's uh, different about ours compared to some of the generic combination squares, it is that ours are, to start with, they're made out of stainless steel, so in the marine industry they're not going to corrode or get any surface rust. Um, they are 30 millimeters wide, so if you're working on something with <clears throat> like a 5 or 6 mil radius on a corner, it's not going to slip over that radius, it's going to sit nice and flat still. Um, the other design that I've done differently is where the slot is, on ours it's perfectly flat. Whereas some squares, not all of them, have little tabs that can be filed to get your, your square reset again, get it set square again. Um, but I find that these don't stay as true for as long because because it's such a small surface area that that can wear down faster on one side than the other and then you then have to file the back side if the front one's worn down whereas ours because it's all all flat there's nothing really much for it to wear down the only thing you have to be aware of is making sure there's no grit or grime underneath of it so it's always worth just giving your rule a wipe off first and um, you've also got the choice of colored anodized thumb wheels which look pretty neat and they're, they're a bit bigger than a standard one so you can get a bit more extra grip on it and um, so we do different colors like green red do solid brass we do stainless steel ones you can probably see these on our website um, done some limited edition painted version ones as well but they might not be available but yeah good stuff